The Alaris Center has undergone a big change, and it includes direct involvement from the city. Commission members voted for the city to manage the 10-year-old event center, opting out of a nonprofit management system. It's a risk because the center has been running yearly deficits. Here is Fox reporter Ngazi Ikelido. The Alaris Center just found itself under a little bit more city control. The thing that we were debating yesterday is should we have it under a nonprofit organization type situation or should we just go with uh, the city type uh, management itself. After a 4 to 2 vote, commission members voted in favor of having the city operate the event center to avoid paying a management fee. With the change though comes some concerns. Some of our challenges will be um, the liquor license and we'll um, be evaluating how who holds and how is the liquor license held for the facility because currently Venue Works holds the liquor license. So that will be um, probably one of our bigger challenges. We don't know at this level what we're going to gain if we uh, don't pay the $175,000 management uh, fee, but we lose $200,000 in uh, profitability in the beverage sales. Kroon says the council also discussed possible concerns about the transition for employees. For city employees, the benefit packages uh, haven't been defined yet. Kroon and Swanson both stressed that these changes should not affect the public's usage of the Alaris Center. It's business as usual for us, that there'll be no change in day-to-day -day activities and we'll still serve the community and the surrounding area as well as we've always have in the past. People that are using the facility and the general public, you'll see very little change. With the new management model, officials at the Alaris Center hope to continue to provide a quality venue while striving to end the year in the black. In Gazi E. Calido, Fox News. Kruin says he hopes the center will add even more events to its schedule in the future.